Hi, Jyoti. Good morning and congratulations for getting selected in a very prestigious Pennsylvania State University, USA for PhD. Thank you, sir. Okay, Jyoti. And uh, I must uh, thank you for uh, uh, you have spared your time for such wonderful interaction. Jyoti, mm -hmm. you are from physics background and uh, you have wonderful academic background. And okay. uh, you have got uh, uh, this prestigious, um, you know, PhD, prestigious university, and also you've got the scholarship. Uh, yes. Interaction with you will be in two broad directions. One, we would like to know uh, what path you have followed because there will be thousands of students who will get benefited uh, through your mm -hmm. this journey. And uh, also, I want that you should, uh, you know, your own journey will be inspirational to students. Uh, how you have uh, done what after masters and why you chose this, uh, you know, career path and you have written some competitive exams like gate also you have written, jam mm -hmm. exam you have written and then uh, GRE you have written. So these couple of exams you have written. So uh, these these directions also I will go for it. So Jyoti, mm -hmm. uh, now over to you. I would like you to first uh, tell us about you, your background, your from which part of India you are. And what is your academic background? And then we proceed forward. Okay. Uh, I'm from Haryana and uh, I have completed my uh, physics honors from University of Delhi. After that, I've written IIT JM entrance exam. And through that, I got into IIT ISM Dhanbad. From there, I completed my master's in physics. So, uh, and uh, in that very year, I have cleared a gate exam in which I scored, uh, I got AIR 372. And, uh, and I've, uh, and after that, I've now uh, given eyelids last year in which I got eight overall score out of nine. And now I've been selected in okay. Penn. So Jyoti, you got selected in Pennsylvania State Universities with eyelids score only. Is that what you're saying? Yes. yes. So is GRE is not required there? So uh, for past two years, due to ah. a COVID, uh, okay. GRE uh, was waived. So that's why I never uh, applied, given GRE. Mm. So because and, Pennsylvania is uh, among top 20 universities in US and it's a brand, very big brand in US. And yes. uh, uh, world QS ranking is also within 100. So uh, GRE must be required, but because of COVID, you're right that many universities uh, have not uh, basically asked students to have uh, GRE. That is great. Yes. Now, now I'm coming, Jyoti, to your uh, background. You said you have done your B, uh, BSc in honors, right? And then yes. you uh, went to uh, ISM Dhanbad. So yes. uh, tell us something about your master's because what I feel is like if you want to get in, uh, admission in PhD in a top university, your master's should be really good. Uh, your mm -hmm. research work should be good. So please tell us about your master's work. And in that, I want you to tell us were you clear in which direction would you like to pursue your research from the very first day? And the moment you joined Masters, what, what was in your mind at that moment? So at, uh, when I joined Masters, I was uh, not very sure about whether I want to continue in the research or not. Uh, although I had some inclination towards the research work, that's why I have chosen physics over geophysics, although geophysics is very highly paid uh, masters uh, from that college. So um, when I joined the uh, 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 ISM at that time, I realized that uh, more focus was given on the research work. So uh, I uh, also did my internship uh, from Inter University Accelerator Center, New Delhi. So after that, uh, I started uh, getting more interested in the research and I joined uh, in the field of fiber optics uh, okay. during my research work. Mm -hmm. So uh, at that time, it was not uh, because of my choice. Uh, we, we were just asked to fill few faculties and it was uh, just like a lottery system that you, you are allotted some professor because many uh, students were choosing a similar professor. So it was based on CGPA that which professor you will get. But after joining um, the research group in the final year, most of the students uh, were not very serious about the research because they were just doing it for the CGPA. But um, uh, fortunately for me, my uh, GRF sir, who was guiding me, he was about to finish his PhD that year. So uh, he, he was about to com uh, complete his PhD in three, four months. So he focused more and more uh, on me completing the project within three, four months of joining. So uh, 
at that time i was uh, really uh, giving more and more time to the research work and through his help and also uh, because i was uh, i for example i even stayed in my winter vacations in my college uh, so uh, due to that my i got two publications one in i triple e and one in laser physics mm-hmm. so this really helped me in application because if you have some research work published um, Uh, which was very rare during the masters uh, uh, for uh, in two years you are getting a publication so that was very rare and uh, this also uh, get highlights in your uh, application that you are very serious candidate mm-hmm. uh, and second thing it um, uh, even uh, even if it's not a good journal then also I think it's highlight a lot about that you're serious candidate you know how to write a paper mm-hmm. you know how to collaborate with your uh, mentors or grs in your lab so these things also help in uh, application and getting so, selected yes sir. so yeah so nice. so very important point uh, which came from your side is like when you do your masters try to do really good research work and try to publish something you yes. have also mentioned that even if you do not run after very high impact factor uh, journals yes. because you know it may take time yes, so sir. even if it is not very very high impact factor journal but even if you have published it certainly helps you in getting your uh, selection right yes sir okay. yes sir uh, so so uh, jyoti when, when you completed your masters after that what i know is you have done teaching also for some time and uh, please tell us how teaching helps you uh, to pursue your purposeful research career and get into phds and all so sir after i completed my masters i have taught for two years for iit j student uh, so how this help iit uh, i also taught uh, international students some courses it was like a freelancing job especially i used to take atomic and molecular physics and optics to uh, foreign student so uh, this really helped uh, uh, helps you in your application because ultimately you are going to be either in academics or in research background uh, and in foreign university you either join as a research assistant or teaching assistant so if you are joining as a teaching assistant this really is helpful that you know how to teach uh, so this research experience really help even if you have taught in any ngo that will also help and it will highlight that uh, you are good as a teacher okay. and also these small experience you should definitely write that if you have done any uh, job in any ngo or you have worked uh, Uh, for example i even highlighted that i was making youtube videos with my okay. friend for uh, helping uh, mm-hmm. some underprivileged student mm-hmm. so although i've recorded only few videos uh, five six videos i have recorded but these thing also mm-hmm. makes your application really different from others mm-hmm. okay <laughs> jyoti now i will ask you very straight uh, can you please tell us what uh, factors helped you to get admission in this prestigious university uh, what were the things like research is one what were the other factors uh, i think first thing was i uh, i have sent email to many professors so i have not targeted many university but for example if i am sending email to penn state okay. so i'll i'll make sure that i'll send to all the faculties which have even slightly similar research background uh, with me so i used to send email to around 20 30 professor from that university mm-hmm. so that at least one of them reply so you are sending 20 30 professor of the same university yes yes if i have the same research background okay so uh, if i have the similar research background then i used to read about their research work and i used to send them that uh, email uh, so that really helped me and i really got the reply from many professor uh, because it happened that sometime uh, if you are sending it to only two three professor professor they might not read it but uh, if you're sending to so many professor it's just probability that some of the teacher will definitely read your email and they will definitely respond to you even if they are not um, like even if they are not help uh, they don't want you as a uh, your research assistant uh, even then they will respond 
to you. For example, uh, for te- from I even got the reply from Texas Austin. Okay. So I was talking with this professor and uh, we had three Zoom meetings. And finally, he told me that, Yuti, I think uh, you have uh, some ear gap. That's why uh, there will be some problem in your... Like, I won't be able to accept you, although the okay. result is not out. But he mm-hmm. told me that he'll help me in application if mm-hmm. I have to apply in other universities or other colleges. So uh, when I got the reply from Penn State, so I got the reply from seven teachers. And they all were willing to write uh, for the graduate fellowship from me. So at that time, I contacted that professor from Texas, Austin, and he really suggested me that which professor is better to go with. So even if they are saying no to you, then also it's beneficial that you can ask them uh, which other professor I can contact, which Mm -hmm. other university I can contact. So please uh, Mm -hmm. writing email to professor really helped me. And Mm -hmm. I had a Zoom meeting with all the professor. Okay. From Penn State. So I have okay. given seven interviews with seven different professors from Penn State. Mm. Some of them will only ask about your history or research background. And mm. some of them can ask the uh, about your like uh, technical mm. questions also. So that Zoom interaction is after mail or what? I mean, after when, at mail. what stage? After okay. mail. So they will after ask you to have Zoom interaction. Yes, after email, uh, if they really like you and if they are really interested. So most of the professor, uh, I have done the Zoom interaction. I even did Zoom interaction with one professor from University of Toronto. So, and Mm -hmm. from Illinois also. So Mm -hmm. the result is still pending. So Mm -hmm. I got the email from Penn State. Okay. Jyoti, you mentioned that you were having some kind of ear gaps. So, yeah. but uh, you were doing, jo- you were teaching yes, or something. Sir. So how you define the gap? Please tell me that. Uh, actually, I was working full time, but uh, the question is, they asked that, why didn't I join directly after the okay. master's? Because I always had the right background and uh, I could have directly applied. Mm-hmm. But partially due to COVID, uh, mm-hmm. I was not very sure that whether I want to go. And also from my parents, they were not very mm. willing to let me go and do mm-hmm. PhD. Mm-hmm. So that's why I have a year gap, but I was mm-hmm. not teaching. Uh, mm-hmm. so. Okay, now, now Jyoti, let me ask you this question that is from the student side. Like, uh, if some student is qualified, he has done good MTech also, but now he's preparing for some competitive exam. You know, in India, there is a UPSC exam, there's other exams. He's preparing for the last two, three years now, suppose. Mm-hmm. Now he wants to go abroad. And his main question is, Sir, this gap, hai, the gap which I have, is it going to create trouble for me now? What is your answer? So if uh, if you can show anything in the past two, three years, whether it's a small uh, teaching experience also, then uh, it will be okay for me. But otherwise, sometimes they ask about why there is a gap. Mm-hmm. Like mostly uh, they can ask, but in Europe I've um, seen that they usually prefer that people are t- so in European countries, I don't think so. That's a great. Uh, that's more problem because uh, PhD is not like other degrees. You usually think before joining it. So uh, that is not such issues. But I have seen that in India, it's uh, not considered good because I was giving interviews for the PhDs in India. Mm-hmm. So I have not uh, receive many positive uh, replies mm-hmm. from the professor. So okay. they, you know, Jyoti, this, this kind of online teaching, some students, uh, you know, on online, they just, uh, solve questions for students, like check mm-hmm. India, where you have seen people solve questions. Yeah. Solve karte hai. That can also be counted as job or uh, some kind of activity which you are doing. It is a teaching kind of I thing only. I think so. How you present it, that... Uh, matters the most Uh, like if you are only solving the questions then also how you will write it in the application or your sop that Mm. will matter the most so Mm. this is also a job according Mm. to me no jyoti uh, let me come to a very very important part of our interaction and that is you know you're from haryana you're a girl you're from haryana it's a speciality Mm. right so Mm. uh now i want there's a lot of hesitation in parents you know that a lot of hesitation in parents that uh, you will go abroad or uh, uncertainty prevails and all. So uh, many capable uh, boys and girls, they want to go. But uncertainty jo hai, that is something that stops their parents from you know pushing them forward. What is the answer to this? 
how to overcome this I how did you do that I faced the similar uh, situation from my family. My mom was like, "Why don't you join the IIT Delhi or uh, anything which is close to home?" Because my hometown is in Harisa, so it's very close to Delhi. So she was like, "Join IIT Roorkee or IIT Delhi, foreign to go." But I don't. Um, but after, if you're very persistent and uh, you like make them explain that. Uh, it's not uh, such a big deal to nowadays go to abroad or settle there so then i think they will understand but yes obviously uh, it's a very long degree it's not like 2 year 3 year it can take a lot of time so i think uh, you need to explain your parents about this that uh, you will be okay but and if you're getting fully funded phd i think so then your parents understand it so, okay ज्योति मैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाज रिलेटेड टू दैट ओनली व्हेन यू सेड इज फुली फंडेड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट कितना स्कॉलरशिप तक मिल सकता है एंड आपका एक्सपेंडिचर वहां कितना होता है नाउ आई एम कमिंग टू दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट सो व्हेन यू गेट स्कॉलरशिप इन पीएचडी क्या रेंज हो सकता है स्कॉलरशिप uh, मिलने का और आपका एक्सपेंडिचर कितना होता है यू मस्ट हैव मेड दैट काइंड ऑफ कैलकुलेशन एंड हाउ मच यू कैन मे बी सेव एट द एंड आई 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 विल बी गेटिंग 30000 us dollar for an year okay. so mm-hmm. i've heard that it's quite comfortable it's around 2 2500 and there's no tax on this right yeah yes there is no tax on this mm-hmm. and also uh, if you are a student you can get other benefits also like mm-hmm. traveling expenses and mm-hmm. other accommodation also in that also you can get so i'm not very sure how much uh, i can say living but... expenditure living expenditure kitna hai wahan pe any idea i am not read much not about sure. it but uh, it's very comfortable i've heard that you can save around 500 dollar maybe per month mm-hmm. okay and and jyoti uh, can you please tell aapka total expenditure kitna aaya hai till you land land up in you know your university kitna expenditure ho jayega writing your exams to you know applying in universities to visa fees wo aap agar bata sake how much you, you have to spend I have not started the visa process yet, but till now I have applied to four universities and I have given one exam mileage. So uh, its cost is around forty-five uh, thousand rupees till now, forty-five to fifty thousand rupees. Uh, Including at its cost. Yes, but if you are applying in European countries or Australian uh, university, there is no fees uh, in those universities. Okay. So last year I applied to Oxford and. Uh, KI uh, uh, it's KIT Carles Institute of Technology Max Planck mm-hmm. so um, in these universities you don't have to pay uh, a fees for applying so mm-hmm. if you want to go econo- uh, economically safer option so you can apply to these universities but in US and Canada you have to pay a specific fees for application it's around 6000 to 7000 for one college mm-hmm. so within 1 so, lakh also, i think you can make the balance right Yes, sir. Mm. you can bend. Mm. Jyoti, typically, how many universities should a student target to apply? The the way you applied for. Yes, I applied to go because I was already I have already given the Zoom interviews with many. You were faculty. confident. Mm. Yes, I was confident that I will at least get uh, into one university. Otherwise, I would have applied to. Around seven universities to be safe, mm. Mm. and uh, one more thing, uh, application was free for one university. It was Rice mm. University, in which it was free to apply. So due to COVID, uh, also they have waived off some mm. application fees in many universities. So you mm. can target those universities also. Good. So Jyoti, if you join Pennsylvania, when your course will start? So it will start in uh, from first of August. So okay. um, I'll be going in July. Mm, great. So Jyoti, that brings us to an end of this wonderful session. And uh, you know, I look forward to again interact with you once you have a couple of more options with you, and yeah. uh, then we can tell the what uh, opportunities uh, you have explored. And I'm yeah. very sure this uh, interaction uh, will be very helpful to students over there, those who aspire to be in such universities. We wish you. you all the very best for your research career ahead, Jyoti. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you.